Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the cluster shell stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This creates a beautiful, uh, somewhat lacy fabric and uh, it's made up of these shell stitches that are created by working double crochet cluster stitches. It just gives you a little bit more of a fuller shell. So today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a 5mm or an H8 crochet hook. The free written instructions for this design can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link is in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. And today your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of seven plus two stitches. So today I'm simply going to chain 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked, we're going to start off right away working some of our cluster shell stitches. So to begin row one, you're going to work a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. And chain one. You're then going to skip the next two chains and into your next chain, you're going to work a cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, all into the same stitch. To work your cluster stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then going to chain one and work another cluster into the same stitch. And chain one. You're then going to do the same Work a cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, into the next chain. Cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one. You're then going to skip the next two chains and work a single crochet into your next stitch. Chain one and we're now going to repeat. Skip the next two chains. Into your next chain work a cluster stitch chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, repeat that in the next chain, cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, skip the next two chains and single crochet into the next stitch, chain one. Repeat that all the way across. 
At the end of row one, you're going to chain four, and this counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one, and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the first stitch. So just into that single crochet at the base of your turning chain. You're then going to chain five, skipping all of those clusters in between into your next single crochet. You're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet back into the same single crochet stitch. Chain five and repeat. Into your next single crochet, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final single crochet stitch, into this final single crochet you're going to work a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet back into the same stitch. This brings you to the end of row two. For row three, we're going to chain four. Once again, this counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to work into the first chain one space. And into this chain one space, you're going to work a cluster stitch, chain one, and cluster stitch, and chain one. You're then going to work a single crochet, working over top of this chain five space, and into the center chain one space of the cluster stitches down below. So you have two cluster stitches, and then you have this chain one space. You're going to work your single crochet stitch into this chain one space, two rows below, working over top of that chain five. Chain one, into your next chain two space, you're going to work one cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, and one more cluster stitch into that chain two space. So you should have a total of four cluster stitches and then chain one again. Then you're going to repeat that working over top of your chain five and into the chain, the center chain one space, two rows below, work a single crochet stitch, chain one, into your next chain two space, work a cluster and chain one for a total of four times. Chain one, single crochet, all the way across. When you come to your final chain one space, at the beginning there, you're going to chain one into the chain one space, which is actually your chain four, uh, turning chain. You're going to work a cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, and then finish off with a double crochet stitch into the third chain of that turning chain four. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, we're going to chain one. It does not count as a stitch and turn our work. 
For row four, begin with a single crochet into your first stitch and chain two. Next, into your next single crochet, so you're skipping these cluster stitches in between, into your single crochet stitch, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Chain five, into your next single crochet stitch, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Going to repeat that all the way across, chain five, into your next single crochet, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. When you come across to the end, you're going to finish off the row by working a chain two, and then a double or single crochet into the third chain of your turning chain four. That brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, we're going to chain one, turn your work. Again, the chain one does not count as a stitch. So to begin row five, we're going to start by working a single crochet into this first stitch and chain one. Into your next chain two space, you're going to work a cluster stitch, chain one, and do that a total of four times. So there's once, twice, three times, and four. You're then going to work over top of your chain five and into that center chain one, two rows below, work a single crochet. Chain one and repeat. Into your next chain two space, work a cluster and chain one for a total of four times. single crochet working over top of the chain five and into the chain one space, the center chain one space two rows below, chain one and repeat that all the way across. When you come across to your final single crochet stitch, you'll end with that chain one and you're simply going to single crochet into that final stitch. And that brings you to the end of the repeats for this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you would like, and then fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to working this cluster shell stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great crochet stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.